Hey everyone, so I recently downloaded Unity 3.5 and I wanted to check out the island demo so that I could see how some of the water effects they use in that demo work. Unfortunately it didn't open up very smoothly as you can see here. Um, it asks me if I want to upgrade the project, go ahead and click continue on that and just click fix now on the errors that show up there. Particularly one of the things that I wanted to see in this demo was how they did the green hue underneath the water. Uh, I thought it looked excellent in the pictures that I've seen. I've not actually ran the demo before to know what it's supposed to look like though in person. So I was trying to open that up in 3.5 to see how that hue worked and it didn't. Plain and simple. I had to make some script changes to get it working and the procedure for generating the color on the train wasn't straightforward at all. So I'm going to walk you through it. You can download the script that I have updated from my website. Um, there's a link in the description next to this video, whether it be below or above, wherever, uh, where you can download the script from, and I'll show you that in, throughout this video, how you, how you replace that script to get things working. So the scene's loaded up, but not all is fine and dandy. Uh, as you'll see when I hit play, there's errors. So I click down here on this bar and scroll to the errors. Just double click the error and you can comment it out within Mono Develop. I don't know what these errors are. I don't care what these errors are. As I said, I'm just here for one reason and that's to check out the water. Uh, commenting out these errors seems to allow me to do it. After you comment out the first one, you will actually get more errors. Uh, just go comment that one out as well. And also on line 31 of the same file, just comment that out. It'll generate an error later if you don't comment it out now. So save the document, go back to Unity, hit play again. And now everything seems to work. Uh, one thing that's pretty obvious is that the trees look like they're on fire. Um, that is a setting on the camera actually. If you go to the first person controller and to the main camera and scroll down to the bottom you'll see a glow effect. Just uncheck that and that'll turn that off. One thing I did notice was if you go underwater and come back out that glow effect is turned back on. So just keep that in mind. Um, you may or may not care to turn it off. I don't really care about it. I don't care to try and fix it because that's not what I'm in this demo for. Alright, so the demo's running. We're off to a great start. Let's get into the nitty gritty of how to get this area here to have that bluish hue that we saw in those beautiful pictures. So, first thing we need to do is select our terrain in the hierarchy, and then go to the window menu and go to light mapping, and click on light map static. You'll probably want to do a higher resolution light map than what I'm doing here. I'm selecting 128 because I am creating a video and I want this to go quickly. But uh, for my final product I'll probably use 1024 or something much higher. So just select the resolution of your light map and then click bake. You'll see a progress indicator in the bottom right of Unity showing you how the baking is going. And just wait for that to complete. Once it's done, you'll have a near and far light map that appear in this gray area here. You can close out of this window. So those near and far light maps are placed under an islands folder by default. Um, you can see them here. Click on the far one and change the texture type from light map to advanced. Make sure you turn on read write enabled and then scroll down to the bottom, check this override for standalone box with Windows, Mac and selected, with Windows and Mac selected, sorry, and then change the format to ARGB 32-bit. Hit apply, and now we should be able to use the light map in our script. Um, go to my website and download the water light map fog zip file. It contains a Unity script that you'll need to copy and put into, we're under Island Demo, Assets, and in the Scripts folder, just paste my script there, replacing what's already there. Now if we come back to Unity under Terrain, here's the Water Light Map Fog script. Just click on Light Map Far, oops, go back to Terrain, click on and drag Light Map Far into the texture field down here. 
and now you should be able to right click on the header and click apply fog. You'll notice that it worked but it's really dark. I found that if you open up the fog color and reduce the alpha that seems to correct the darkness of it. Uh, 35 ish seems to work pretty well. So I'm going to go back to this light map far, right click, re-import, that resets it back to the way it was, and then go back to terrain, right click, and apply fog. And now you can see we have this nice green hue underneath the water. Um, the outer model doesn't quite match and I found that the easiest way to correct that was to actually click on the seafloor model and change the color of it because adjusting the light map is far too difficult to try and match the outer floor. It doesn't take much work to get it close enough. And then when you fly out you'll see that uh, I don't know if it works. It blends in pretty well. And that's it. We now have the blue hue underwater, and if I run the demo here, you can see it has that nice blue tint to it, or green, whatever you'd like to call it. Along with our trees that are just blazing with flame. There you are, hope you enjoy, and uh, good luck with your game.